So hello, hi everyone. Welcome to this webinar. And um, this webinar is called e-commerce strategy to maximize your profits. And this is Drisilla. I'm responsible for partnerships at HyperSKU. And we would like to bring more value to our clients to assist you to boost your pupil. So we invite some of the best tools in the Shopify ecosystem and also experienced dropshippers to share their experiences. Okay, great. Um, so hello everybody, I'm Kyle, I'm the first speaker uh, and I'm CEO of Salesforce and I'm just going to show you what Salesforce can do to make your e-commerce selling online business uh, simpler. Um, a little bit about Salesforce, so I founded Salesforce maybe two years, seven months ago to help me with my own dropshipping journey. It started as a bunch of uh, APIs uh, that are kind of like strung together to make the original Salesforce. And now three years later, we have about 50,000 customers. Um, and, you know, I'm really happy with where, with where we've gone and I'm looking to share some new Salesforce features with you today. Um, so uh, essentially what we do is we do product research, right? So any e-commerce product that you can think of on AliExpress or perhaps any other platform, uh, we provide, you know, reverse image search for that. We provide a Shopify store database. Uh, and we really like to get into the numbers of actually diving deep into the metrics of which products actually sell. Um, so with all that being said, uh, today what we're going to do is go right into a demo of Salesforce and see if you can use it to help your own uh, dropshipping business. Um, a little bit about why I started Salesforce, you know, there were actually limited, decent product analytics software on the market. A lot of the main products on the market focus on showing you what products you should be selling uh, instead of, for example, letting you make your own decision um, so that's kind of like what I wanted to do to empower people who are drop shipping or in the e-commerce business model, uh, you know, to find products themselves, uh, to sell, find products that are going to have, you know, the highest profit margins, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so without further ado, uh, I really quickly just want to touch on, uh, the Salesforce team, which is growing recently, but. Essentially, uh, you know, we've got a team of about 15, 16 people all working on finding you the best products through our software, through our platform. Um, and yeah, let's get into looking at Salesforce and what it can do to help your e-commerce business. So starting off here, we've got the Salesforce dashboard. And then here we can see the stores. Currently, we have a selection of every single uh, available Shopify store here. Um, and you can filter for, for example, from your country. Uh, so for example, say I'm from Brazil and I want to find uh, the best Brazilian stores. Uh, I can find right here the best Brazilian dropshipping stores. But what you might find interesting is that, you know, dropshippers might not necessarily care about these big brands. So we can actually uh, filter down to just dropshipping stores uh, right here. Um, as well as also being able to fill uh, stores that are new, old, with high traffic, a lot of products or a low amount of products. So for example, I think if we go back here to all countries and then we go to this store, this store Setire, they're an Australian fashion retailer that have, has 332,000 products, which is pretty insane. But the main thing or the main feature that people uh, use Salesforce for is this store analyzer and what we've got here is the ability to analyze any store on shopify find out you know how much re monthly revenue are they making where do they get all their customers from you know because if we're running facebook ads we want to target our facebook ads right here usa or canada uh, now these people are in the clothing niche um but one of the things that i definitely like to look at is the traffic so for example you can see in the pandemic, this store, arcticshow.com, which is a dropshipping store, you might have heard of it, 
um, has their traffic going up, like spiking massively at the start of at the start of 2021. Um, and we can also see what are their best selling products. So uh, you can see this light of life. If you're a drop shipper, you might be familiar with this and you probably know this product, the Moonlight uh, is some of their best selling products. Um, as well as another thing that we can look at is what theme they're running. Uh, so for example, this is the prestige theme. And if we click on here, uh, we can just go straight to the theme store and buy that for our store if we want. Uh, as well as we can see the exact apps that they're running, um, which is also a great feature, but more on that later. Um, I do just wanna to touch on for finding winning products, what I find really works. So what I really like to do uh, is to look at the newest products first, uh, because these are generally, they might not be discovered yet, but for example, uh, I mean, I've never seen this product before, and I think that it could be a good idea, you know, to drop ship this product, um, as well as all of these new products are, you know, generally super useful to look at for finding winning drop shipping products. You know, uh, the factories that actually make these products might have only just started producing them, um, so that's definitely something to look at if you're looking for winning products. Um, so speaking about products, let's go into the product section of Salesforce. Um, and basically, uh, what we're going to be able to look at is if we analyze any Shopify product, uh, for example, say this light of life that we just looked at, um, we can now see all of the suppliers on AliExpress. And then using reverse image search, uh, we can find the one with the cheapest price. So they're selling it for $199. And then if we visit this AliExpress product page, you can see that you can buy it for around, I think that's about a hundred uh, something dollars, uh, maybe 120, um, 97 pounds. Uh, and potentially you could get it cheaper uh, if you sourced it, for example, through Hyperskew. Uh, so that's another benefit of using our sourcing partner, Hyperskew, is that you can increase your profits um, you know, by doing that, $199. And say you could get it for maybe $80, you can get $120 profit on this. Very good uh, product to sell, um, high ticket. We can also see every single other store that is selling this product on Shopify. Uh, so for example, here, um, what you can do is if you filter by the actual uh, traffic, we can see which are the big stores uh, selling this product. So for example, these guys have 436,000 traffic and 13K to 24K uh, monthly revenue selling pretty much just that product. So we've got this version of the lamp um, and then also others. Uh, so if we go back to the product section, uh, I know a lot of dropshippers actually struggle with generating descriptions. So by looking at every other Shopify store selling that product, we can also see uh, a selection of descriptions uh, that are available for you to look at and be inspired uh, you know, to do your own descriptions for your own Shopify store, um, as you can see here. Uh, as well as you can see images of this product, all of them that are available, and videos so that you know you can edit the, use these videos and edit them together to market your product with Facebook ads. Um, speaking about Facebook ads, uh, what we've also got is the marketing feature uh, where we can see the Facebook ads targeting interests, um, which you can also use you know, to target specifically your product on Facebook. Uh, Salesforce does also have a very highly rated Chrome extension, which will allow you to do product research on the go. Uh, I won't have time to touch on that now, but a lot of the features are also going to be available on this that are available on the main app. Um, so speaking about products and sourcing with Hyperskew, let's go on the supplier section. And because Halloween is coming up now, um, I'll show you the way our category system works. So for example, say you're looking for Halloween masks, you can just go into home and garden, and then we can go into, uh, let's have a look, um, do, 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 festive and party supplies. And then if we look at, you know, for events and parties, 
And then I'm just going to look for some masks here, party masks. Uh, and then you can see, you know, would these be good for Halloween? Probably they would be. I would suggest, you know, for Halloween to get starting uh, to sell those products right now. Um, for example, this one I know was quite popular uh, last year, the Raid Mask. Um, I want to show you a really cool feature that not a lot of, you know, apps in the product research segment actually have, uh, which is being able to see which are the top Shopify apps on the App Store, as well as what we can do if we click on any of these apps like this, uh, we can see all of the Shopify stores that have those apps installed on them. Um, and then you can also do the same for Shopify themes, right? So I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Turbo Portland, right? So if we click on, we can see we have 1,471 stores with this theme. Click on Turbo Portland, uh, and then we can see all of the stores uh, that actually have this theme. So for example, Vanquish Fitness, Sinners Attires, etc. cetera. Um, what I wanna do right now is actually show you uh, a new feature um, that has come to Salesforce uh, just recently. Now, a lot of people uh, were saying that, you know, for example, it's not good enough to estimate uh, a store's monthly revenue. And I agree because we don't know whether this is accurate or not. Like our algorithm is accurate, you know, within certain boundaries, but for some stores, I will admit that we do get it wrong. So with our new feature, uh, what we actually have is we have the real store revenue uh, for the last 30 days on any verified store. Uh, now, this is a selection of a lot of stores. Um, I think slightly over a thousand that we have real revenue data for the last 30 days. So if you look at beinspiredclothing.com, uh, you can see 506K in the last 30 days. But what you can actually do is break that down day by day. So for example, if we click on sales, uh, we can see how many sales they got, for example, on the 10th, on the 9th, you know, they had a big spike on the 7th, $32,000 in sales. And what you can actually do is if you look at the products, you can see the sales for each individual product just by clicking here. And there we go. You can see this t-shirt, the number one bestseller, last 30 days, 166 orders and about $6,000 in sales, uh, which is invaluable data because you can actually see the real time sales of any of these products, right? So these chinos have been doing well, $11,000 in sales. And if you wanna see something really cool, um, I don't know how many of you have heard of the brand G Fuel, uh, but G Fuel uh, has in the last 30 days, uh, $9.2 million in sales, which is pretty insane. Um, and you can actually see how that's broken down, you know, day by day. I think they did a bigger launch on the 31st of August with $2 million in sales uh, on the 31st alone. Uh, and then obviously we can break it down by product, right? So you can see, I don't know if you've all heard of PewDiePie, but you can see his uh, G Fuel sold 550,000 in the last 30 days uh, with a big spike on the 28th. Um, and then also the Build Your Own Box is super popular, 351K with 47,000 total orders. Um, so it's just features like that, that make Salesforce one of the best product research tools on the market. And if you're interested in taking an analytical approach, finding, you know, the best products to sell, um, and everything like that, I would encourage you really to start your Salesforce free trial. Um, you know, we have a very affordable starting price for beginner dropshippers uh, for 18 pounds a month or $24. Um, and if you sign up today, start your seven day free trial today, uh, you can use this code hyperskew 10 to get 10% off. All you really have to do is just visit uh, the salesforce.com website um, and click start free trial. And there you go. You can take a look at the platform. And if anybody has any questions for me or any members of the team, uh, I'll be available uh, you know, to answer those questions now. Um, okay. Any questions from Kyle? 
Yeah, I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have. I've got the extension here just so you guys can see, uh, you know, what we can do with that. Yes, please. Yeah, so here we go. We've got the Chrome extension working. Um, and we've got what you can see is the price history, uh, as well as you know, all the product reviews. Um, you can download all of the product images like instantly like that, you know, get them on your computer uh, for doing marketing with. You can see what are the best suppliers. Uh, I think you can also see uh, the product sales if you're logged into AliExpress, uh, as well as you know, the top dropshipping countries with that. Um, like Gisela said, I'm open to taking any questions. So Gisela, if there's any questions, I'd be glad to take them. Uh, but you know, if not, I can you know continue to just show a bit of the Chrome extension features. Um, but I'm happy to take any questions about the platform or dropshipping in general, uh, if you'd like. So Kyle, there's a question um, from Anthony. Like, do you only source Shopify stores only? Yeah, correct. So uh, at the moment, Salesforce only has Shopify stores. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to do uh, Shopify stores really well. So for example, this new feature, um, being able to see the exact number of sales of uh, any Shopify store which we're working on, or currently we have about a thousand, you know, we want to fully expand on that before we include WooCommerce. But we have planned uh, in 2022 to also add WooCommerce stores to Salesforce, uh, where you can analyze any WooCommerce store also. Um, and currently, that's all I can say for what we have planned. And there's another question from Michele. Can we trust 100% of the exact sales of the verify stores? Uh, yeah, yeah. So the the um, the way we calculate these uh, total sales uh, is actually by looking at the total sales of each product. Now, obviously, I can't get into exactly how we do that, but there is data available, you know, that we've sourced. Um, that basically, what we do is for every single product we calculate the sales. So you can see we have for this one, uh, for this one, for every single product on this person's store. Um, oops, where am I? Okay, let me, one second. Um, yeah, so basically for every single product in this person's store, we calculate the sales for that. Uh, and I would say within maybe five to 10%, it's correct. Like within the margin of error, one of the things we can't really track that well is refunds versus restocks. Uh, but overall, uh, I would say within 5 to 10%, it's accurate for the verified stores. Um, when you're looking at the uh, revenue estimates, I would say they are accurate, but it does vary, you know, depending on the size of the store, whether the store is drop shipping or not, whether they get their sales online or in person. Uh, but yeah, I would say within 5 to 10%, this is very accurate data over the last 30 days of sales. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Kyle. I think that's um, for all. Okay, that's great. Um, well, thank you guys for having me. Thanks for Hyperscue for having this uh, event. And I'm looking forward to hear, you know, the rest of the speakers, what they've got to say. Um, yeah, I'll hand it over to you, Gisela. Okay, thank you.